opportunity to have a, uh, these families, the six families this morning, or in this service, dedicate their children to the Lord. And, and this is an opportunity for them to stand before you, their community of faith, and say, we are giving these children to the Lord. We're dedicating to, to them to be great stewards of them and to be parents of them and to lead them. And so I want to invite all the parents of the children getting dedicated and the babies as well and infants. I think they're all infants today. Come on forward. You guys can stand right here. Pick up. Step here to stand up. Why don't you come here? If you can line up alphabetically by height. <laughs> There's six families this morning, uh, and you, you've seen all these pictures, I believe, up on the power plug. Uh, but we're very excited to have them dedicate their children to the Lord. They're going to ask a series. They're going to answer a series of five questions, and this is their dedication that they're making uh, to you and to God. And so they're kind of making a covenant before you guys to hold them accountable for these things. So parents, I'm going to ask you these five questions, and if this is your heart's desire, respond by saying we do. Do you today recognize these children as the gifts of God and give heartfelt thanks for God's blessing? We do. Do you, to, do you now dedicate your children to the Lord who gave them to you, surrendering all worldly claims upon their lives in the hope that they will belong wholly to God? We do. Do you now pledge as parents that with God's fatherly help, you will bring up your children in the discipline and instruction of the Lord? making every reasonable effort with patience and love to build the Word of God, the character of Christ, and the joy of the Lord into their lives. We do. Do you not promise to provide through God's blessing for the physical, emotional, intellectual, and spiritual needs of your children, looking to your own Heavenly Father for the wisdom, love, and strength to serve them and not use them? We do. And lastly, do you promise, God helping you, to make it your regular prayer that by God's grace your children will come to trust in Jesus Christ alone for the forgiveness of their sins and for the fulfillment of all his promises to them, even eternal life. And in this faith, follow Jesus as Lord and obey his teachings. I'm going to take time now, and I'm, I'm going to be speaking to the, to the, sneaking here, that's okay. I'm going to speak to the, uh, the little ones. But this is an opportunity for you, and we have five of them this morning, so you get kind of warmed up as you go along, but we don't want to leave the walls that's feeling bad. Uh, and, I, and I know this is uh, kind of a you know, stoic crowd, but at the end of this, I will say, and all the people said, and you respond, Amen. Amen. That was really bad. And all the people said, Amen. That's right. Now, the reason why you're saying Amen is because... All three of my kids know Hope as their home. They've, uh, they've loved going to Hope. They've never felt it was anything but a place for them to grow up in their faith. They've always looked forward to going to things. And a lot of that is because of many of you were involved in shepherding them. So when you're saying amen, it means when you see, you see the little ones going around, you are part of their development. It does take a village. And so that's what that amen means. We'll start here with uh, Clara Leslie Walls, and this is Ash and Mike. Clara, <laughs> together with your parents who love you dearly, and this people who care about the outcome of your faith, I dedicate you to God, surrendering together all worldly claims upon your life in the hope that you will belong wholly to God. And all the people said, Amen. Amen. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is Abigail Zipporah Douglas. This is Steve and Jay. <laughs> Of your faith, I dedicate you to God, 
surrendering together with them all worldly claims upon your life in the hope that you will belong wholly to God forever. And all the people said, Amen. Amen. All right. We have Abraham and Molly Piper. This one I'm going to go over there. This is Whitson. And this is Will Whitson. Whitson, together with your parents who love you dearly, and this people who care about the outcome of your faith, I dedicate you to God. Surrendering together with them all worldly claims upon your life, and the hope that you belong wholly to God and love. And all the people said, Amen. 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 This is Cadence Felicity. Cadence, together with your parents who love you dearly, and this people who care about the outcome of your faith, I dedicate you to God. Surrendering together with them all worldly claims upon your life in the hope that you will belong wholly to God forever. And all the people say, Amen. This is Curtis and Laura. And this is their little one, Everett John. I don't want to see me in the pictures. <laughs> Everett, together with your parents who love you dearly, and this people who care about the outcome of your faith, I dedicate you to God. Surrendering together with them all those who live upon your life, in the hope that you will belong wholly to God forever. And all the people said, Amen. Amen. <laughs> this is Ava, and uh, this is Matthias and Lindsay. Ava, make sure I get it right. Ava, Ava, Ava Shannon. Mm -hmm. This is the most. Ava, together with your parents who love you dearly, and this people who care about the outcome of your faith, I dedicate you to God. Surrendering together with them all worldly claims upon your life in the hope that you will belong wholly to God forever. And all the people said, Amen. This is AJ and Lindsay Norman, and this little guy is Maximus Dillon. <laughs> Maximus, you're the coolest name ever. <laughs> Maximus. Together with your parents who love you dearly, and this people who care about the outcome of your faith, I dedicate you to God, surrendering together with them all worldly claims upon your life, in the hope that you will belong wholly to God forever. And all the people said, Amen. 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 Would you join me in praying for these little ones and these parents? God, is an awesome thing. It's an awesome thing. To have little ones. It is a hand, it is a sign of the hand of your blessing. And I think in this building, this where we're standing right now, 1895, this building was built, and hundreds and thousands of kids have been dedicated right here. And your hand of blessing has shown over those years. And so we ask once again that your hand of blessing would come. And that these kids would grow up. And not just that they would grow up, but that they would be kingdom builders, that they would be kids who would love you with all their heart, soul, mind, and strength, and they'd want to see your kingdom spread. Many of them here in Minneapolis, Lord willing, you will do great things even through these kids on this stage. So God, I pray for these parents. It is a daunting task to be a parent, especially these days. It's even become more difficult. And I ask for your extra hand of blessing on them and encouragement on them. Give them faith and strength Guard their marriages. Be with them, God. And then for all of us who are here, use us, God. Use us as people who can be those, those blessers, those babysitters, those encouragers in their lives. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.